Dodge the Con Artists, Part 2 of 4. Many firms will offer testimonials, and the primary point of this is to reference other people's success. Too often, the architecture of a sales pitch often presents them as a subliminal everyone can do it message, perhaps that be true, but let's not forget their purpose reference some people will perhaps forget this and be content if there are any testimonials. This is the wrong way to go about it.to start off, are the testifying people using the firm? Are they affiliated with the firm? Heck, do they work for the firm? If so, discount these immediately, since their interests go hand in hand with the companies. It's biased. Secondly, do the testimonials have any substance? Are they specific to minor details? I made a pound 103.47 in my sleep last night. Are their claims directly or indirectly related to the firm? Most importantly, can you reference the details yourself? For example, if it's a web design company, can you see the testifying client's websites and GOP for yourself? If you can't do that, then what's the point? How do you know who they really are? Incidentally, you could repeat the contact detail system on the testimonial's contact details and see if there are any eyebrow raising features. You could ask the firm for contact details of the testimonials and also ask politely why contact details aren't featured. If they say no, then you can draw a line through the credibility of all of them unless of course in exceptional circumstances where contact info would be inappropriate, you can judge this yourself, check my other articles for the next installment.